Yeah, it's been good. Yes, we are back. This is my sixth time, sixth time at the Kennedy Space Center. Visitor complex, fantastic. I've all been informed by our uh, driver today that the rocket launched tonight um, at eight o'clock. And um, I hopefully can see it from, the, uh, from Orlando. That should be quite interesting. Um, so look out for that. So hopefully that'll work. I'm putting it out there. I'm just in the rocket garden at the moment and luckily the park isn't full at the moment so that's fantastic but yeah it's great to be back absolutely great to be back so let's go and explore I know you, I've done videos from here I'm just repeating myself maybe I know sorry but hey come on it's such a fantastic place to explore let's go there's also an Atlas 5 launch in the morning 8 o'clock I was lucky enough to see an Atlas V launch when we were here in 2015 on our way down to Miami on this road trip. Um, that was just a satellite going up. If you'd like to join us, we're right at the entrance of the Rocket Garden. We're going to talk about the early history of NASA. The amazing things that these rockets have done. Look how small it was. To sit in. Oh, these little capsules. The days on end. Absolutely incredible. But really, no one in the country cared that it was such a quick flight. They were just thrilled we finally had put a man up in the space. That's the sign. That is a Mercury. So they're doing a tour in the rocket garden. And and I don't normally have breakfast, as you know, but um, I'm having a egg, bacon, and Alex roll Jones thing and a black Americano. And then we'll get started, all right? Let's go. So I'm doing something a little bit different today. I usually go to the Atlantis first, but I'm not. I'm going to actually go out to the Apollo, so we can do it in sort of a linear of the development of space traveler here at NASA. Um, so we'll go out to the Saturn V rocket, see the films. And I'll say again, I'm sorry if people have seen these videos before. It was four years ago. There's new exhibitions here. bus out to the Saturn V hangar. Here we go. On behalf of NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, I'd like to welcome you all to Kennedy Space Center. My name's Harry, I'll be your escort to get us out to Apollo Saturn V. Center. Our journey will take us past active facilities, missiles provided to NASA by the U.S. Army. In October of 1958, capsule and its pilot. Man rating for human spaceflight on what was previously a ballistic and seven smaller vertically opening doors above it, tall enough in 1965 for the Apollo program. And has since been updated. And that's the Artemis program. That's the program that's going to take us not only to the moon, but ultimately to Mars. That test flight went very well. Two and CT1, both of them. Between the two of them, it took all the Saturn Vs after the launch pads. It took all 135 shuttles. Last time I I missed the presentation because I'd seen it before. But I think this time we will go back through and show you the story of the Apollo program because it's actually really interesting. So just waiting for the door starting to let us in. Landing and first 
step from the moon. When we actually did send men into space, it turned out that those were exactly the qualities it took. I'm Don Hudson. This is Pad 39 of the Kennedy Space Center. I was a launch controller here, but from this very spot, man took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap, and we were doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before. The extreme temperature differences between the air and the sub-zero fuel caused the metal skin of the rocket to expand and to contract right here where it actually happened. This bit never gets boring. A real Saturn V rocket. That's fantastic. Even though I've seen this quite a few times, this is my sixth time, it just never gets boring. Never gets boring. walk underneath. The most powerful construction ever made by human beings. And this say so this is this has been space. This is not a replica, this is the, one of the originals. It's very quiet today. Packed. The chat did say it's coming to the end of the season, so um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very quiet. Command module. never gets boring. Coincidentally, the video I shot four years ago on this exact same camera. <laughs> I don't think just got it. Don't hesitate to operate the panel in front of you and uh, we'll see if we can answer something. bus that took the astronauts out to the launch pad. Astronaut van, yeah, very 1960s. Check this out, Apollo 1 tribute entrance. A bit of moon rock. Wow. Formed approximately 3.7 billion years ago.
I'm afraid I haven't got a good enough lens, but over there is a launch pad 39A and 39B. It's 39B, I think. Everyone who's ever landed on the moon has launched from that launch pad, 39B. So we're very lucky to see a la uh, say this launch back in 2015 <coughs> of an Atlas V rocket. Coming up on Mark 1. And OTB is now supersonic. Passing through Max Q. Vehicle disturbances continue to be as expected. We have throttled down to 95% of rated thrust right on time. So they've got the Atlas V launch in the morning from here at 8 o'clock. Uh, and also, say so the one tonight uh, is at 7:59, and although it'll be hopefully dark by then, so we should be able to see stuff. It should be quite interesting. So yeah, it's alligators and snakes in this area, so you don't really want to be pissing about with that either. And there's the uh, vehicle assembly building in the distance. Just see an alligator go past. Chap on the uh, left was in one of the uh, instruction in one of the presentation videos on the bus coming in through, into it, into uh, the hangar. One of the, the directors of um, the crawler. Imagine being cooped in there for days on end. Absolutely incredible. Okay, that was rather fascinating. Shut up, music. I'm going to head back now down to the visitor centre and go and see the Atlantis exhibition yet again. Okay, let's go and check out Atlantis for the umpteenth time. Go and wait in line until um, until we're allowed to go in. Oh, yes, I remember going down here now. Yeah, I think this is the how many reveals have I seen? I think I've seen four. Yeah. Space Shuttle Atlantis. Fantastic. Check out the size of the engines. It's crazy. Absolutely fascinating. If you're ever in Florida, please come to the Kennedy Space Center. I say I know I've been here six times, but there's always something new to see. All the emblems of some of the craft. Pretty cool. Oh yes, this is the red corridor as we go down into the red corridor. Yeah, look at that. Way! Red.
I'm not doing the shuttle simulation. I did it a couple of years ago. And it's really good, actually. Really good. Um, but I'm not doing it today. Sorry, kids. Lovely little memorial to the Challenger uh, disaster. The personal belongings of some of the pilot, uh, astronauts. Shuttle Express Gifts I'm not really a gift shop kind of person but uh, we'll have a look around Let me repeat that, I mean I do like gift shops, of course I do, of course I do, but I don't, I don't, I'm not really a big collector of things, you know items and things right oh don't like the look of those clouds don't like the look at those clouds we'll see anyway we're gonna have a little look hope might be catching a nimax movie and see how it goes let's go That's all that was all about. A bunch of policemen doing a photo shoot in front of the space shuttle at Kennedy Space Center. But there you go. I love this. I'll take you up to the memorial. I have shown you before in other videos. Actually, I shall link the 2019 playlist below. You'll say, Mark, you went to the same places. Uh, yeah, but it's four years on. I think we're going to get some Florida showers in a minute. It says thunderstorms. Um, it's a little bit cooler today. I mean, it's hot still, but it's a little bit cooler. It's about 88 degrees. Tomorrow's 94 over the weekend. We've still got trips to St. Augustine, one of my favourite places, and uh, Wild Florida to do, which would be fun. But here it is, all the people who've lost their life in the annals of uh, conquering space. Yeah, whenever mankind has sought to conquer new frontiers, there have been those who have given their lives for the cause. This astronaut's memorial, dedicated May the 9th, 1991, is a tribute to the American men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice, believing the conquest of space is worth the risk of life. The Astronauts Memorial Foundation. Isn't that fantastic and beautiful? See the vehicle assembly building in the distance, just over there. Absolutely huge building. So all the times I've been here, this is the quietest it's ever been. And I've usually come around this time anyway, so when the kids have gone back to school in England, it just seems quite quiet. Looking at Journey to Mars, I came in here last time. Oh, it's nice and cool in here.
photos with an astronaut. First couple went, hey, thanks very much, cheers, thank you. And then behind them, I hear, go on, have a photo done, have a photo done. Good old Northern English. <laughs> 12.45 is the next showing of the last man on the moon. Do you want to see anything interesting? Also contact the camera in because uh, IMAX and copyrighted, but it should be good. Yeah, it's a good IMAX, uh, sorry, IMAX uh, movie, The Last Man on the Moon. Very good, very good. We go down and have a look at the um, heroes uh, section. Which has been updated since 2019, so uh, go and have a look at that. We got thunderstorms on its way, so we're going to go and have a look at Gateway. section is but it looks good I can walk up an upper section as well which is quite cool It was interesting, I wasn't quite sure what it's supposed to be, but there you go. Oh, there's clouds. I think about Florida thunderstorms, they sort of are full on for a while and then just disappear like that. There you go. It's looking dark, back towards Orlando. This might delay the rocket launch tonight, we'll have to see. Okay, before it chucks it down, let's do the Heroes and Legends exhibition. And for the first time, I was 10 years old, growing up in Southern California. Say your dad. Uh, well, I think we're about to find out. Ask me again after we take out these mix. In the 1930s, the people of the past, the barnstormers and the people that did the early uh, triumphs of aviation. And one of them, of course, was Charles Lindbergh. Mm -hmm. John didn't like not being told what was wrong with the machine. Yeah, yeah, nice little exhibition, this is really good. I have been here before though. Gemini 9 capsule. Gemini 9. Heavens have opened up, so I'm having a quick uh, coffee um, till it passes, and then uh, a couple of hours to kill. Really, I've done most of it, so uh, yeah, it's been good.
So there you go guys, a very wet ending to a great visit to Kennedy Space Center. The heavens opened, I knew it was going to be a thunderstorm, but it really chucked it down, absolutely chucked it down. But it's been fabulous, really enjoyed it here. My sixth time coming here. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. If you're in Florida, please come here. And if you have, please smash, like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you in our next adventure in Florida. See you then.